Now, the fine for taking a child out of school without permission will rise today, with the minimum charge set at £80 instead of £60 per child her parents. Yeah, that figure could go up if any more time off is taken. All part of government plans to improve attendance across England and Wales. But with most unauthorised absences being taken uh, so families can go on a holiday, the big question, will it work? Our reporter Natalie Bell has the details. They're advertised as the most precious time of the year for families, a chance to make memories. But booking a trip when school's out means some have a dilemma. Okay, guys, how's the morning been? India? Um, I have drawn up some examples for you today, which is a very popular large holiday resort in Turkey. So we're basing it on three children within the family. Um, to go in June would be around £3,600. To go first uh, week of school holidays, so end of July, we'd be looking at around £5,600. So that's £2,000 more for them to consider. So we are seeing calculations being made in store and deliberations between families as well. Fines for unauthorised absences from school will rise from £60 to £80 per parent if paid within 21 days. That increases to £160 if paid within 28 days. So it could cost a two-parent family with two kids £320 in fines for having a cheap week away. We were looking at um, Turkey for two weeks, all inclusive. In the holidays, it was looking at nearly five grand. And out of school, you can do it for like two, two and a half. Um, and it's, it's good for them, isn't it? As a teacher, I can't take my own children out of school. So I think the travel companies need to make a difference and stop piking the prices up. Do you not think it you know, affects children's education? Does that not come into consideration? A couple of days wouldn't hurt. I mean, during lockdown, we were all teaching them at home and seemed to do a good job, so I don't think a couple of days matters. But the government are unapologetic. They say that evidence proves that pupils who have good attendance achieve more. I understand that families are under pressure, but parents should not be taking their children out of school during term time for holidays. They just should not be doing that. And should they do it, there will have to be consequences. That's a well-established practice and it's here to stay. According to the parents I've spoken to today, the new fines will make them adjust rather than cancel their holidays. Because even paying a higher penalty still works out cheaper for families to get away. That report from Natalie Bell. We're joined now by the head teacher of Burnage Academy for Boys, Carl Harrison. Morning, Mr. Harrison. Uh, Thanks morning. very much for talking to us. Um, how much of a problem does this continue to be for you? I think it's a real problem and I think it's grown. Uh, massively. I think school attendance has got worse uh, since COVID and uh, absence from school has been normalised um, to some extent and this is another part of that, the fact that more and more parents are taking children away in term time and that's problematic but I also see the other side of the coin as well. So an increase in the fine. Um, a lot of parents I talk to just see this as a holiday tax because you know, if they're taking them out during term time, it's much more expensive. Uh, it's, it's cheaper. If they're taking them out in school holidays, it's much more expensive. Term time, it's much cheaper. It still works out cheaper to pay the fine and go on holiday in term time. Yeah, absolutely. An extra £20 not going to make a difference to them. It's a tax. That's the way they would see it. If you're saving a substantial amount of money on a holiday, you, you're going to do that. And if that's the view, then you, you're going to do it and you increase it to £100. I don't, th I don't think that's necessarily going to deter people. I don't think it's necessarily going to work, but it's a difficult problem. So I think the government kind of goes, we need to put, do something about it. We need to make a stance. This is the stance we can take on it. So that's what they do. I don't think it's an effective one, but um, it's hard to find a, a, a suitable alternative, really. And going abroad during school holidays is, can be, at the moment, phenomenally expensive. And I wonder yeah. if some parents might argue, well, this is our only chance to all be together as a family for a week. Yeah. OK, you might miss a week of school or a few days of school, but maybe this family time is more valuable considering, you know, what we've all been through the last few years. What would you say to, to those parents to maybe suggest to them that the discipline of being in school is what matters? I think the message for me for parents, it's hard to argue with it when it's put exactly like that, without sounding like a cold individual. My, my answer would be that what we say to parents is the most important thing any parent can do is support the school. And if they support the school, their child will be success more successful. If they don't support the school, 
they've got more chance of being unsuccessful. And the school's position is that you should be in. Now, one week in itself, how much of a problem would it create? Not a huge amount. However, it's the message it sends to that child. You've had a week out of school, that's OK. So the next time the child feels a bit tired, well, it's OK to have a day off. I'm going to have a day off today. And what you see over five years is that parents who tend to be a bit more relaxed with it, their child's attendance is very, very low. And school attendance across this country at the moment, in secondary schools, it's nearly a day off a fortnight. So what is the answer here? If it's not fining parents, how do you fix this? It's tough, but that's why the government does what they do. Uh, I think it's about the relationship between the parents and the school and the strength of that relationship and schools working. And they do. They, they all do it. We do it. Everybody does it. It's working with parents to get them to understand the consequences of taking those decisions. It, it's hard. I mean, we have some parents who have a heritage outside of the UK. They want to visit family. They can't afford to do so in the summer holidays, and they're asking me. <laughs> and you feel like a, a terrible person to be able to say, we need to take a stance Would here. you always say no if it's in terms Yeah, we do, yeah. But then the reason being, because if we didn't, it would just open the floodgates. And, and that's the invidious position any school's in, mm. where if you don't take a stance on it, then suddenly everybody will do it. And I, I understand it in, in itself, why a parent would want to do that. Of course I do. Um, but the, the consequence of that is the message that it sends. And as I say, atten attendance and absence starts to become a habit, uh, and a habit that grows. Carl, thank you. Good to talk to you this morning. Thanks yeah. so thank much, you. Carl. Thanks no very much.